What determines how brightly this bulb will shine? Or if we are shown some circuits, like the four circuits shown here, how can we predict which of the bulbs or LEDs will shine the brightest? Power determines how brightly a bulb or LED shines. So if we can understand power, then we can predict which bulb or LED will be brightest, dimmest, medium, whatever. So what does power mean? Power is the rate, in other words, per time, the rate at which energy is transferred. What does the word transferred mean? We can also call it passed on, given to something else, given out. In this circuit here, the cell here gives energy to the charges. It gives energy per charge. It gives voltage to the charges. That makes the charges move, and as they move through the bulb, energy is transferred to the surroundings to the air in the forms of light and heat. So power means the rate at which that happens. How much energy comes out of the bulb in the forms of light and heat in every second? And the more energy comes out every second, the brighter that bulb will be. The less energy comes out every second, the dimmer that bulb will be. Put another way, the greater the power dissipated in the bulb, the brighter the bulb will be. The less the power dissipated in the bulb, the dimmer that bulb will be. Since power is energy per time, the rate at which energy is transferred, energy per time, what are its units? Energy is measured in joules and time in seconds. So power is measured in joules per second, or joules second to the minus one. And joules per second is given a special name of its own, watts. So one watt is the same thing as one joule per second. One joule second to the minus one. We can calculate power using different formulae. Of course, the one here, energy per time, is the definition and so is the fundamental formula. But another formula that we find very useful in electricity is given by this triangle. Power is equal to potential difference across a component multiplied by the current strength through that component. And that gives the power dissipated in or by that component. P is equal to VI. Now in the practical we're going to do now, we are going to build these four circuits. And we're going to calculate the power dissipated through each of the four LEDs of the circuits. How are we going to do that? We're going to use this formula, power equals V times I. So we're going to measure the voltage across each LED and the current strength through each LED, multiply these, and then find the power dissipated through each LED. And we will find that the one that shines the brightest will have the greatest power dissipated through it. So you can see in all these circuits, we have voltmeter across each LED to get the voltage reading. And then we also have an ammeter in the main part of each circuit to get a current strength reading. In the cases of circuit 1, 2, and 3, that current strength reading is also the current strength that goes through the LED because it's part of the main part of the circuit. But in the case of circuit 4, we'll just have to be careful because what we measure here by the ammeter is not what will go through the LED because at this branch, the current strength from the main part of the circuit splits. So we'll just have to be careful of that. So we're going to build these four circuits, and we're going to build them linearly, like shown in this photograph, so that we can compare them nicely. This is the table that we're going to use to measure our data. So these are four circuits. For each circuit, we're going to measure the potential difference across the LED. It must not be across the entire circuit, only across the LED. As you can see, the voltmeter readings are only in parallel across the LED, not across the resistors in the circuit or the battery or anything else. Then we're going to use the ammeters to get the current strength through the LED. The ammeters aren't shown in the circuit diagrams, but I pointed it out earlier. And it's only this one here that we have to be particularly careful about, as I pointed out earlier, because the current strength through the ammeter will not, in this case, be the current strength through the LED, because the LED is not in the main part of the circuit, whereas the ammeter is. And then we're going to calculate the power dissipated through the LED by using the formula power is equal to potential difference 
multiply by the current strength, P equals VI. So we're going to multiply this value by that value to get this value in each case.